Welcome back guys to another video in this channel. Of course, the first video of 2019. The year which I'm gonna make sure that my channel grows seriously. Because I'm going to be, this year I think I'm going to be uploading videos like Seriously, I'm going to be uploading videos. My New Year's resolution is to be a better person. And of course, to upload more videos on YouTube. I mean, that's that wasn't my New Year's resolution, but uh, it was part of it. Just kidding. Actually, what I want to do is just um, make sure that I upload daily. Well, not daily, just weekly or something. In the weekends or probably every day. I don't know. It's up to me, but I'm gonna make sure that I'm gonna stay active. I mean, I'm active in YouTube every time, but uh, the thing is, I'm not active in uploading my videos, so that's a bad thing. So I'm gonna be making sure that I'm gonna be uploading a lot of videos. I mean, the last video that I created was that montage of Warcraft 3 Reforged, and if you don't know about that, go and click into the link in the description right down below, because that will uh, go and put you into the video, and you just go and watch it. And of course, if you guys are excited for this video, I think you know what to do. So, let's get into the... Let, let's, ju let's get into the point of this video, which is just a short video, a short tutorial. Well, not that short, but I'm going to make sure that I'm going to uh, give you a lot of details about it. In this video, I'm going to be teaching you how to make a simple um, uh, camera... To, uh, in this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to create a simple cinematic, um, a simple camera cinematic, or a, sh a simple camera movement. Just let's just name it like that. So the first thing that we're going to do, we're going to be going into this quickly. First thing that we're going to be doing is going to be going into the camera palette, which is located here in the tool palette window. Now, to open the tool palette window, if it's not open when you first open your Warcraft 3's world editor you're gonna go into the window here right in the top left corner go and uh, click on show palette and make sure you're gonna check that one because if I uncheck it and the tool palette will show if we check it there it shows up again now the tool palette consists of uh, five palettes we have the terrain palette the doodad palette unit palette region palette and of course the camera palette now we're gonna be going into the camera palette this time because we're gonna be I'm going to be teaching you guys how to do a simple camera movement in Warcraft 3. So the first thing I'm going to do is basically we're going to be creating a camera. So we're going to be having and choosing a view. So the first thing that I'm going to do is add a simple view here. Basically that's it. And we're going to be going back into the camera palette. Now the next thing that I want to do that you uh, you're going to want to do is just go and choose a view like choose a camera angle like to do this you're gonna go and hold control you're gonna go and hold control and then right click in your mouse and hold it and to actually go and navigate your way into the world editor so the next thing you're gonna do is just choose a um, view or an angle I mean and I think this one is better I'm gonna go and click on create camera so this basically creates a simple camera or a camera right here to face on that angle so if we double click on this one it's gonna go and face in that part if you, I mean that direction that angle of the map uh, of your uh, in, um, it's gonna point in that simply direction now the next thing that we're gonna do is add a second camera to do the movement so we can't do it if we ha don't have two cameras so we're gonna be choosing this direction here we're gonna be going and clicking create camera again so we have a second camera facing that direction now we're done here as you can see we have two cameras added in our uh, map the next thing that we're going to do is go into the trigger editor the next thing we're going to do is go into the trigger editor or you can just basically click in the keyboard trigger <laughs> editor. click in that one and as you can see we already have the trigger editor we're going to be going here at the top of the trigger editor we have the new trigger or you can just basically control t now we're going to be naming this camera movement click enter now we have a trigger here the next thing we're going to do is go to here at the trigger functions basically you can comment anything in the trigger but what do i want to comment oh i have something to comment
just kidding, actually, that's that's not a compliment. I, I mean, it, it would be if you guys would comment it. I mean, I'm just kidding. No, bro, bro, please, this is not racist. We're gonna go into the trigger functions. Click on the camera events. I mean, the camera movement here. Just right click and and click new event. Now we have the configure event window here. We're gonna go. Uh, the first thing that is gonna pop up is map initialization. Click OK. So what this does is whenever you load the map, it automatically just goes into the camera movement that you added. Now to do that, we're gonna go into this action tab here, right click and click into new action. Next thing you're gonna do, we have this simple thing here. Now we're gonna be going and going to the action type. To do this, or to do a little bit of thing, or to do a camera action, we're gonna be making this a little bit of cinematic or something. So we're gonna be going into cinematic, Go and click here and go to cinematic mode and turn it on for all players. This means it's the cinematic mode is turned on. So it's basically it. That's just to do a camera movement or something. Right click again, click new action, and then do a camera. Go to action type, do and click camera. And the first time uh, the first thing that's gonna pop on is apply camera object time. Now this is what we need. Apply camera object, this means we're gonna click on that, select a camera, this is going to be camera one, which is this one. I mean, this one. That one, that's more simple. Click okay. And then for over around four seconds, I think that's the minimum. Next thing we're gonna do is uh, click a right click again, click new action, go to camera again, and then apply another object, which is camera number two, which is this one. Okay, so we're gonna be putting that for around four seconds. And then that's basically it. We have a simple camera order or we have a simple camera um, movement. And we're just gonna be turning off the cinematic mode now. We'll be going back into cinematic. Go to cinematic mode and turn off the cinema, 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 cinematic mode. Turn it off. Okay, and then you're done. We're basically done with our camera movement. Now this is just a beginner stage. This is just a beginner tutorial for all those who want, uh, who actually <coughs> want to know how to create a, uh, how to create a simple camera movement. Well, this is how you need to do it. Uh, so yeah, if you guys are, if you guys love this video, if this really helped you out in uh, in your creating seasons, or if you want to create a map, this will totally help you out as a standard beginning and the beginning of your legacy. I mean, I mean, just this will totally help you out. If this to if this helped you out a lot, then uh, just tell me in the comment section right down below because uh, if this. If this did not help you a lot, then just tell me. I mean, I can I can handle every criticism that you guys give because that would make my channel that would make me create videos even much better for you guys to have to have to watch. So uh, to get in tune for that, click the subscribe button if you love the video. If this one seems interesting for you, I'll be uploading more more and more videos as I said as I said in the start because this is the year where I'm going to be making my channel. Uh, well, as I say updated i mean active in uploading videos so i think that's going to be it for this video you guys i hope you guys enjoyed the video and if you ever did please do leave a like if you enjoyed the video and uh, of course see you in the next video peace out